And the city of Chicago seeing a violent weekend with dozens of people shot. Yeah, we're learning more from the mayor and CPD's interim superintendent about how they plan to deal with this moving forward. NBC5's Lisa Chavaria joins us now live with that story. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Patrick and Michelle. Now, both say that there needs to be more investment in communities that are struggling with this kind of violence. Now, here's what Mayor Brandon Johnson had to say about the violent weekend we just saw where more than 45 people were shot. Look, I, I knew what I was inheriting when I became the mayor of the city of Chicago. Mm -hmm. I knew it. We've all have known mm -hmm. um, the pain of trauma and disinvestment. Here's what we have to remind ourselves that if we're going to get our get ourselves out of this rut, it's going to take all of us. Part of the violence happening includes this. CWB Chicago obtained this video of a man being shot as two men tried to carjack him. This happened yesterday morning in the Bucktown neighborhood on Wabanzia and Damon. The 52 year old victim was left in the street as the suspects drove around him. Now, police say he's in good condition, but the suspects are still on the run. And happening just last night in the Garfield Park neighborhood, a 14 year old boy walking down a sidewalk was shot by someone in a passing car. This this happened just before nine on Francisco Avenue near Washington Boulevard. Now, police tell us that he was listed in fair condition at Stroger Hospital. Also in the Garfield Park neighborhood, just two hours later, three teens were shot while they were standing on the front porch of a home. Chicago police say someone in a dark colored car pulled up and opened fire on the teens at a home on Gladys Avenue near Hamlin Boulevard. A 17 year old girl is in critical condition after being shot in the eye. Another 17 year old and a 19 year old were both wounded, but they're said to be in good condition. As of this hour, police are still searching for the suspects involved in all three of those shootings this morning.